Good evening, mga mahal, my fellow gods, beloved. Come, join me again tonight in reading God's word, His love letter to us. Hallelujah. Oh, we praise the Lord and we glorify you, O oh God. You are worthy of glory and honor and praise, Father. Yes, so oh good, Lord. Thank you for your loving kindness every morning and your faithfulness at night. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Father. We decree and declare, Lord, your promised words to us. Thank you, Father. You are saying to us, all things are possible. I give you wisdom. I will give you rest. I love you. I will direct your steps. You can do all things. I am able. I forgive you. I will supply all your needs. I have not given you a spirit of fear. Cast all your cares on me. I give you wisdom. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Thank you, Father, for your word. Hallelujah. We believe it and we receive it, Lord, for your word. For the word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, pressing even to the division of soul and spirit and of joints and marrow and is a discerner of, of the thoughts and intents of the hearts. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12. Thank you, Father. We praise you, Lord, and we glorify you, O oh God. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Thank you, Father. Yes, you have a wonderful plan for us, God. Plans to prosper us and not to harm us. Plans to give us a hope and a future. Father, thank you. We praise the Lord and we glorify you, O oh God. Thank you, Lord, for tonight. Father God, we remember in prayer for those who are in Ukraine. Lord, comfort them, be with them, have mercy on them, O oh Father. Heal them, Lord, to those who are sick. This COVID also. God. You are a great healer and a physician. Father God, right now, comfort all these people. Those who have no food, Lord, give them shelter, clothing, and food, Lord. Have mercy, O oh Father God. Preach this Holy Spirit. Comfort them and be with them right now. God, thank you for your love. Hallelujah. Oh, we magnify you, Lord. And we pray, Lord Jesus, oh God, that this war or this uh, Russian bombing towards, bombing towards Ukraine, Father, be stopped. Intervene, Lord, right now as I intercede in prayer. Father, God of mercy, Lord, let there be peace, Lord, and love and unity among all of us, your children. Among that nation, Father, Ukraine and Russia, Father God, we pray for everything be settled in, in the nice way, Father God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, we pray for all of us. Father, thank you that as we, Lord, as we who dwell in a secret place of the Most High, we shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. We will say of the Lord, He is our refuge and our fortress. O oh God, in Him we will trust. Yes, we only put trust in you, O oh God. Hallelujah. Surely He shall deliver us from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover us with His feathers, and under His wings we shall take refuge. His truth shall be our shield and buckler. We will not be afraid of the terror by night nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at our side, and ten thousand at our right hand, but it shall not come near us. Only with our eyes shall we look and see the reward of the wicked. Because we have made the Lord who is our refuge, even the Most High our dwelling place, no evil shall befall us, nor shall any plague come near our dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over us and keep us in all our ways. And in their hands they shall bear us up lest we touch our foot against a stone. We shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, 
The young lion and the serpent, we shall trample under our foot. The Lord is saying that because they have set their love upon me, therefore I will deliver them. I will set them on high because they have known my name. They shall call upon me and I will answer them. I will be with them in trouble. I will deliver them and honor them. With long life I will satisfy them and show them my salvation. Amen and amen. Thank you, Father. We praise you, Lord, and we glorify you, O God. Yes, thank you for the long life you have promised us and for saving our lives as well. Oh, Father, God, thank you. And right now you are, Lord, with our brothers and sisters in Ukraine. Father, you're saving them, healing them. God, protect them, protecting them. Father, right now, be with them, oh God. Thank you, Jesus, that with you, Lord, in you and through you, we have fullness of joy. No matter what's going on, Father, we have complete joy because of the Lord Jesus in us. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Father, we will run to you, God. Hallelujah. And we, we will run to you, God. Your eyes is on the sparrow. Yes, Father, even the birds that take care of them, how much more for us, your children. And your hand, it comforts me. Yes, Lord, you are comforting the sorrow and pain and suffering. From the ends of the earth to the depths of my heart, let your mercy and strength be seen. You call me to your purpose. As angels understand, for your glory, may you draw all men as you love and grace demands. And I will run to you, to your words of truth, not by my might. Not by my power, but by the Spirit of God. Yes, I will run the race till I see your face. Oh, let me live in the glory of your grace. Father, thank you. You are so graceful. You are so gracious to us, Father. Hallelujah. God, you are saving us right now. You are saving people right now, Father God. Hallelujah. Because we are saved by grace and not by work. And so, Father, thank you. We will run to you, Father. And in you, we are safe and secure. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We bless you, Lord, and we glorify you, oh God. Thank you, Lord. And as we read your word, Father, in the book of Numbers, now chapter 15, verse um, 32. Father, help us to understand. Give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you, O Father, as we read your word. In Jesus' mighty name, the name above all names we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Father. Precious Holy Spirit, we acknowledge your presence. Teach us. Amen. Penalty of breaking the Sabbath. One day, while the people of Israel were in the wilderness, they discovered a man gathering wood for the Sabbath day. The people who found him doing this took him before Moses, Aaron, and the rest of the community. They held him in custody because they did not know what to do with him. Then the Lord said to Moses, The man must be put to death. So the whole, the whole community must stone him outside the camp. So the whole community took the man outside the camp and stoned him to death, just as the Lord had commanded Moses. Tassels on clothing. Then the Lord said to Moses, Give the following instructions to the Lord of Israel throughout the generations to come. You must make tassels for the hems of your clothing and attach them and attach them with a blue cord. When you see the tassels, 
you will remember and obey all the commands of the Lord instead of following your own desire and defiling yourself as you are prone to do. The tassels will help you remember that you must obey all my commands and be holy to your God. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt and Hallelujah. Yes, I am the Lord your God. Bring you out to the land of Egypt and I'm, I might be your God. I am the Lord your God. Hallelujah, Father. Yes, indeed. You are the Lord our God, Father. Thank you. Hallelujah. Korah's Rebellion One day Korah, son of Bizar, a descendant of Korah, son of Levi, considered with Neth, Dathan, and Abiram, the second Eliab, and on son of Peleth, from the tribe of Reuben, they incited a rebellion against Moses, along with 250 other leaders of community. All prominent members of the assembly, they united against Moses and Aaron and said, You have gone too far. The whole community of Israel has been set apart with the Lord and be with us all that we, that what right you do, you have to act as though you are greater than the rest of the Lord's people. You have gone too far. The whole community of Israel has been set apart by the Lord. Wow. Then, verse 4, um, Then Moses heard what they were saying. He, face, he fell face down on the ground. Then he said to Korah and his followers, Tomorrow morning the Lord will show us who belongs to him and who is holy. The Lord will allow only those whom he selects to enter his own presence. Korah, you and all your followers must prepare for incense burners, light fires in them tomorrow, and burn incense before the Lord. Then you will see whom the Lord chooses as his holy one. You Levites are the ones who have gone too far. Then Moses spoke again to Korah. Now listen, you Levites. Does it seem insignificant to you that the God of Israel has chosen you from among all the community of Israel to be near him so you can serve the Lord's tabernacle and uh, stand before the people to minister to them? Korah, he has already given this special ministry to you and your fellow Levites. Are you now demanding the priesthood as well? The Lord is the one you and your followers are really revolting against. For who is Aaron that you are complaining about him? Then Moses summoned Dathan and Abiram, the sons of Eliab. But they replied, We refuse to come before you. Isn't it enough that you brought us out of Egypt, a land of flowing with milk and honey, to kill us here in this wilderness, and that you now treat us like your subjects? What's more, you haven't brought us into another land flowing with milk and honey. You haven't given us a new homeland with fields and vineyards. Are you trying to fool these men? We will not come. Then Moses became very angry and said to the Lord, Do not accept their grain offerings. I have not taken so much as a donkey from them, and I have never hurt a single one of them. And Moses said to Korah, You and all your followers must come here tomorrow and present yourselves before the Lord. Aaron will also be here. You and each of your 250 followers must prepare an incense burner and put and put incense on it so you can all present them before the Lord. Aaron will also bring his incense burner. So each of these men prepared an incense burner, burner lit the fire, and placed incense on it. Then they all stood at the entrance of the tabernacle with Moses and Aaron. 
Meanwhile, Korah had stirred up the entire community against Moses and Aaron, and they all gathered at the tabernacle entrance. Then the glorious presence of the Lord appeared to the whole community, and the Lord said to Moses and Aaron, Get away from all these people who from these people so that I may instantly destroy them. But Moses and Aaron fell, fell down on the ground. O oh God, they pleaded, you are the God who gives breath to all creatures. Must you be angry with all the people when only one man sins? And the Lord said to Moses, Then tell all the people to get away from the tents of the Korah and the Than and Abiram. So Moses got up and rushed over to the tents of Dathan and Abiram, followed by the elders of Israel. Quick, he told the people, get away from the tents of these wicked men, and don't touch anything that belongs to them. If you do, you will be destroyed for their sins. So all the people stood back from the tents of Korah, Dathan, and Abiram. Then Dathan and Abiram came and stood at the entrances of their tents together with their wives and children and little ones. And Moses said, This is how you will know that the Lord has sent me to do all these things that I have done. For I have not done them on my own. And these men die a natural death. Or if nothing unusual happens, then the Lord has not sent me. But if the Lord does something entirely new and the ground opens its mouth and swallows them, up, them and all their belongings and they all drown alive into the grave, then you will know that these men have shown contempt for the Lord. Mm -hmm. He had hardly finished speaking the words when the ground suddenly split open oh, beneath them. See, this is what happened. Then the earth opened its mouth and swallowed the men, along with their households and all their followers who were standing with them, everything they owned. So they went down alive into the grave, along with all their belongings. The earth closed over them, and they all vanished from among the people of Israel. All the people around them fled when they heard the, their screams, the earth will swallow us too, they cried. Then fire blazed for, forth from the Lord and burned up the 250 men who were offering incense. And the Lord said to Moses, Tell Eleazar, son of Aaron, the priest, to pull all the innocents burned from the fire, for they are holy. Also, tell to scatter the burning coals. Take the incense burners of these men who have sinned all the cost their lives, and hammer all the metal into thin sheets overlay the altar. Since this burner were used in the Lord's presence, they have become holy. Let them serve as a warning to the people of Israel. Hmm. So Eleazar the priest collected 250 bronze incense burners that had been used by the men who died in the fire and he hammered them into thin sheets to overlay the altar. This would warn the Israelites that no un unauthorized person, no one who was not a descendant of Aaron should ever enter the Lord's presence but burn to burn incense. If anyone did, the same thing would happen to them, to him as happened to Korah and his followers. So the Lord's instructions to Moses were carried out. But the very next morning, the whole community of Israel began muttering, muttering again against Moses and Aaron, saying, You have killed the, the Lord's people, as the community gathered to protest against Moses and Aaron, and they turned toward the tabernacle and saw that the 
cloud had covered it, and the glorious presence of the Lord appeared. Moses and Aaron came and stood in front of the tabernacle, and the Lord said to Moses, Get away from all these people, so I can instantly destroy them. But Moses and Aaron fell face down on the ground, and Moses said to Aaron, Quick! Take an incense burner and place burning coals on it to the altar and lay incense of it and carry it out among the people to purify them and make them right with the Lord. The Lord's anger is blazing against them and plague has already begun. And Aaron said, did Aaron did as Moses told him and ran out among the people and the plague already began to strike down the people but Aaron burned the incense and purified the people. He stood between the dead and the living and the plague stopped. But 14,700 people died in that plague, in addition to those who had buried in the affair involving Korah. Then, because of the plague had stopped, Aaron turned to Moses at the entrance of the tabernacle. Wow. Father, thank you, Lord, for your word that we have learned something again tonight. Oh, God, Lord, help us to obey you. And, uh, Father, we need you. Thank you for Aaron and uh, Moses for their intervene and for the people being disobedience. Oh God, help us to obey you. Thank you, Father, for tonight. Help us to understand. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Mga Mahal, for reading God's love letter with me. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Hallelujah. And always remember that Jesus loves you. Hallelujah, God, we really need you. Good night, mga mahal. Let's read again tomorrow. And you have a good night's sleep because the Lord 